and welcome to Mental Floss, an eight week challenge series. Every week will be a different theme and a different challenge. I will be posting every Sunday, Monday about that specific challenge for that week. So definitely look at all the details down below. Every Sunday, Monday, I will be posting videos on what that challenge is for that week. Definitely subscribe to my channel and follow me on all my social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to keep up with me every day of what I post about the challenge as well so that you could join the challenge too. When you join the challenge, you're automatically entered into my contest. Each theme will have one winner. I will announce all the winners on April 11th. The reason why I call this the Mental Floss Challenge is because we're going to be looking at the mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual aspects of ourselves. We're going to be working on our inner selves as well as helping our mental state. We always have to work on our mental state before anything else. Our mental state is everything and we could suppress a lot. The reason for this is anything that, that you have on the outer surface is not going to help you. So you need to go start going inwardly. If you don't start with the root, you wind up suppressing everything. And if you suppress everything, you need to get to the root cause of everything. Mental floss is all about detoxing and letting go what no longer serves you. So come along with me on this journey with this eight week series and join the challenges. Other than that, let's get right into the video. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jusenia and if you're new here, hit the subscribe button down below and join the family. And in today's video, we are going to go over the Think Dirty app. If you do not have this app, you must download it. Think Dirty is a app that shows you all the items that are toxic in your home and all the items that are not toxic in your home. This goes along with my series, my eight week series. This week's challenge is to be chemical free. So if you wanna join the challenge, definitely follow me on my social media and get involved. You could start anytime as long as it's a consecutive of seven days. All the information will be linked down below. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna have the pictures popped up on the screen for you so that you guys can see, but I'll show you the app. So it's right here in my health category. Think Dirty app, that is the app that I use. It's pretty simple, I'll show you guys a quick uh, video. You just wanna hit scan and it allows you to scan the product. You can also look at your history of products that you have scanned, so you can look up the ingredients again if you would like. Uh, there is a lot of stuff that, there is a lot of products that they don't have yet, so you can actually add the UPC code in and add information that's strictly up to you. But I think for, from the start of it, it's, it's not a bad app to have. But we're gonna go through the pictures and we will go through that. I went to Target to look up a bunch of different products because a lot of these products I don't even have in my home. Mo my home is like 95% I would say chemical free, which is really great. I went out of my way for you guys and for myself to look up these products and look up these ingredient toxic ingredients that is in these products. If you want to know what toxic chemicals you have in your home, then just keep watching. In the Think Dirty app, they categorize it in dirty, half and half, and clean. So dirty is in the color red, half and half is in the color yellow, and uh, clean is in the color green. What we're gonna start off with is Listerine. The alcohol in the Listerine kills your good bacteria, but it also kills your bad bacteria as well. So that's already a strike one right there. On the, so on the Think 30 app, it gives you a number from one through 10 of how toxic the product is, and it gives you the ingredients and what the ingredients is, and the sources that they got their information from. As you can see here, the Listerine has allerg a high allergy and immune toxicity levels, and the first one is Polyaxmer 407 on a scale of eight. Um, it has FDNC green 3CI42053, and then it has methyl sal salicite, salicite, sal salicite, sal salicite, sal salicite. They say if you cannot pronounce these words, these ingredients, then they are probably bad for you. Methyl salicylate, but again, I can't pronounce the Chinese words in my school of herbs, so. 
that could be pretty biased. It could go one way or other. So Listerine, the polyoxymor 407 is in red and then they have two other ingredients that's half and half in yellow and Listerine has a score of eight. Polyoxymor is a, and I'll also, I'm just gonna go through all the products that I have to show you guys and then I will tell you what is bad in each of these chemicals. And then I did three different products of toothpaste well, four different products of tooth toothpaste. Three of them was Advanced White Extreme Whitening by Arm & Hammer, Crescent Deep Clean, and as well Crescent Whitening, and Colgate Max Fresh. So I did four toothpaste because I also did an organic brand too. So the first one is Advanced White Cleaning. It has a rating of five. It has four half and half ingredients that are not good for you. Sodium fluoride, which fluoride is a huge uh, thing. It could be it's very controversial whether fluoride is good for you or not good for you, uh, but from, I would say, the community of being organic, I've heard that fluoride is highly toxic. And then, as well, that goes along with SLS, which is sodium lauryl sulfate, sodium lauryl sarcosinate is another bad ingredient that's in here, and it's a level of a carcinogen level, which is cancer, so that is the advanced white toothpaste. Then we look into Crest white toothpaste on a scale of seven, that it's a carcinogen. Uh, it has po polythene in it, sodium fluoride, PEG-6, and sodium SLS in it. And then we have Crest whitening, which has a polyaxmer 407 again. It is on a scale of eight, has carcinogens and allergies and immune toxicities levels, high toxicity levels. It has the sodium fluoride, PEG-12, sodium lauryl sulfate in it and then the colgate max fat fresh on the scale of five out of ten it has the sodium fluoride peg 12 sodium lauryl sulfate um, high levels of carcinogenicity. city then next we did lysol lysol has it is on a scale it says there's an r it's not fully updated but i would say it's a scale of nine since it has frank fragrance as nine it's highly toxic to developmental and reproductive toxicity. So if you're spraying this, you're, you know, and you're inhaling this, and it's so bad for your lungs. Fragrance, it's a, not a natural fragrance, it's a synthetic fragrance. And it says here, nearly, nearly 3,000 fragrant ingredients is added to most personal care products to mask odors or add a pleasant scent. Next, I did the Dove bath soap that was for sensitive, a two pack, and it was completely clean. It has a little bit maybe of like allergies or, or, or immune toxicities, but it was on a scale of three, and so that's good to go, guys. You could buy the Dove sensitive. But next, I have for you the Dove bath soap white two pack on a scale of nine out of 10. So high levels of devil, developmental and reproductive toxicity, guys. So the Dove, you know, it's the fragrance. Any synthetic fragrance is highly toxic to you and any of your products. So it doesn't matter what brand it is, you want to check every product, whether it's organic or non-organic. You want to check because different uh, items may not be toxic, but others will. I'll show you guys in other products what it, exactly what it is. So then we have Dawn. Dawn is a mainstream, well-known soap to use, and it is on a scale of 9 out of 10 people get rid of dawn soap please it has again the fragrance scale of a nine out of ten it's carcinogenicity and it developmental and reproductive toxicity high levels of that and allergies and immune toxicities it has sls in it phenol external in it anything that has like phenol or pegs or any of that p type of word it's linked to have Athenol oxide and one one slash four deoxinide, which is carcinogenic. Next we have Comet. Comet was on a scale of nine out of ten again because of the fragrance, high levels of developmental and reproductive toxicity. Stop using Comet. Instead of using Comet, you can use baking soda, guys. Use oils, essential oils or lemon or vinegar mix with the baking soda make a scrub out of it boom you got your diy of a com comment 
and then I also have here Clorox now I couldn't there are some products that I couldn't scan like a, all of the laundry detergents Windex bleach like the the just regular bleach bottle I could not scan them they did not have it in the think dirty app I don't know if it was because it was targets UPC codes not sure on that but Clorox guys if you're you have bleach in your house please get rid of it it is so highly toxic so toxic it's so toxic that you cannot if you rub it your eyes you're done you drink it you're done I personally cannot stand bleach it is so disgusting to me I feel like I'm going I feel like I'm going to faint when I smell bleach and I don't even have to be in the same room if I'm in a different room smelling bleach I, I'm like please stop it irritates my eyes it irritates my throat it causes lung uh, issues respiratory issues there's so m so many bad things about bleach and ammonia get rid of them stop using it so Clark's was on a scale of 9 out of 10 fragrance and also has sodium hypochlorite in it and it has high levels of developmental and reproductive toxicity and high levels of allergies and immune toxicities Next up, we have Pledge Cleaner to clean off your wood. Scale of 9 out of 10. Again, the fragrance is a big one. It has polysorber 80 and then polymethylsilicone, which has high levels of carcinogenicities and developmental and reproductive toxicities. Uh, that was Pledge. Then I have my organic toothpaste that I use. I use two different brands. I use this Dr. Bronner's Peppermint All One Toothpaste, and then I also use these toothpaste from Young Living. This was on a scale of three out of 10. No dirty and no half and half. All green, all clean. Um, it just might have a, a little bit of allergies or immune toxicities in it. It has a little percentage in there, but it's neutral. So buy this brand. In replace of your Colgate, Arm & Hammer, a Crest, whatever toothpaste you use, buy this one. It is great. I love the brand. I even have a travel size now. Now they have a travel size. Bacon soda. I put in the Arm & Hammer's Pure Bacon Soda, which came out zero, completely clean. So the peppermint one was three because of allergies for the toothpaste, but bacon soda came out clean, guys. Zero 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 get bacon soda it's so cost effective you don't have to buy all these you know expensive cleaning products bacon soda is so cost effective this is 79 cents a box at Target and I'm sure it's like that in almost every store and then an organic bacon soda brand is 99 cents so it's still affordable you could buy a bunch of bacon soda you could use it for a rug cleaner you could use it for a sink cleaner toilet cleaner bathroom sink bathroom tubs cleaner laundry detergent like there's just an endless amount of uses for baking soda so i definitely recommend go buying baking soda and get that into your natural household non-toxic products the only detergent that i was able to get was this all detergent free and clear 100 percent free of perfume and dyes and it was i don't know what this i think it was probably zero has all green uh, ingredients clean, allergies, and immune toxicities. So if you're not into like buying organic, you could buy this all stain lifter free and clear detergent. That was right on. But I did this 20 minute team borax, which you can use to in, as a detergent booster. That's what it is. It came up with nothing. It didn't have anything in there. So I, I'm assuming that it's a-okay. Then we're gonna go into products that I personally own and I had the seventh generation power clean at zero percent came out clean uh, just a little bit of allergies or immune toxicities so that's a good thing but remember seventh generation is an organic brand but not all their products are a hundred percent organic remember that not all organic products are going to be a hundred percent even if it says that it does Use this app, Think Dirty, and get it, scan your products before you buy them. And I'm not, this app is not, this is not being sponsored. I'm just really into organic, chemical-free living. 
So the next up I have for you is softening fa fabric softeners or dryer sheets. Seventh generation, free, free and clear, no, no sense, it has no um, smell, any sense in it. Zero, nothing came up for that one. Then we're gonna go into the center. I purchased a seventh generation fight stain detergent and it was natural laundry detergent. It says natural laundry detergent. I got it in CVS because I was running out of detergent and I couldn't go to the other store where I got my detergent. It has uh, levels of carcinogens in it. It has Lorith 6, which is similar to the SLS, the sodium Lorith. Um, sulfates so I don't know what the scale was that it didn't have a scale on it but don't buy it next up we have the another organic brand if you've heard of it mrs. Myers and it's the laundry detergent and basil scent and it was a 9 out of 10 guys it has synthetic fragrances in it sodium borax which is the borax and sodium lorith sulfate high levels of developmental of reproductive toxicity and high levels of carcin carcinogens. So toss that, that was another soap that I had to buy last minute. Now we have another seventh generation product and it is the non-toxic formula dish liquid. It says non-toxic formula guys and it has SLS in it. So that to me is, SLS is only half, half and half toxic in the Think Dirty app, it's on a level of four, but I, being organic for a long time, SLS is uh, on the high list of toxic ingredients to have in your products. And it could be in every personal item, like shampoo, makeup, everything. So if you see anything with SNL, SLS, sodium, lorith, sulfate, get rid of it. It's gone. Don't use it. That is not completely clean. And then uh, another brand called Method All Purpose, it came up with nothing, so I'm assuming that's good. Also, if you're concerned because the Think Dirty app has nothing on it, you can simply look up the ingredients on the bottle yourself and determine whether you think it's healthy for you or not. Then I have next up is the MyChell sunscreen. That's the sunscreen I have, and it came up completely clean. Uh, just a little bit of allergies or immune toxicities, 3 out of 10, but it has all green levels in it. Then next, another uh, skin product that I use is the MyChell Fruit Enzyme Scrub, which I'm so in love with, and it was 3 out of 10 again because of allergies or immune toxicities. And when I say 3 out of 10 allergies and immune toxicities, they're more talking about like allergy reactions. When you like look into like the ingredients, it says because of allergies. I'm so happy that one worked out. Then we go into a well-known brand called Tresemme. I'm sure you guys know that brand. And I had this sample Tresemme gel that I've used in the past and it was a 10 out of 10. If you use any Tresemme products, get rid of them. I didn't do any other like shampoo or conditioner product brands like L'Oreal or anything. I could do that in a future video if you guys like. But this has DMD high donatone and fragrance and the diatone Higher diatone is 10 out of 10 and the fragrance is 9 out of 10. High levels of carcinogy and high levels of developmental reproductive toxicity, guys. The Out of all the products that I scanned, Tresemme had the highest of it. Please check your, your, you know, your products and check them. Toxic, 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 toxic. The next up is petroleum jelly, which is also like a high toxic on... Um, on the organic list, I would say petroleum is not the greatest. It when you put it on your skin, it doesn't absorb in your skin correctly, and it can prevent from cell renewal. So definitely check that out. And then it has BHT in it. The following product I have now solutions shea butter, which you can use instead of the petroleum jelly. So that actually worked out that it was like right next to each other. It was three out of ten, probably because of allergies, and it was all green. Then I have this Skin Laundry Restoring, Restoring Night Serum that I got with my FabFit box that I bought a long time ago. And it had toxins in it. It has a glycolic acid. So any, anybody who's like into organic and stuff, they will say that acid is toxic to you. 
Uh, it's a level 5 out of 10 glycolic acid and it has the phenol, the phenol, uh, the phen, phenox ethanol, which is the same as the pegs, the phenols, which I explained earlier, and other products. So I was pretty upset that I found out that wasn't good. And then the following product that I was using, Origins Out of Trouble face mask that I was using, I was using it a lot you probably would see it in my, my past self-care Sunday videos or like my routine videos and I was pretty upset when I found out how many it has really bad ingredients in it it has parabens camphor peg a hundred sterite and some of these I can't pronounce but really really bad um, parabens are bad camphors are bad and then I have the Dr. Bronner's Hemp Seed Baby Unscented Pure Custile Soap. It was a 0 out of 10. So anything Dr. Bronner's is really good. So you could buy that as a replacement by the Castile Soap. You could use it for anything. Body wash, hand wash. I personally use Castile Soap. I carry it with me. Work. I have a little bottle under the sink of soap that I use. And then with school, I have a mini bottle that I put when I'm washing my hands at the clinic and I put it in my lab coat and that's what I use. The next product I have the Aveeno Active Natural Daily Moisturizing Lotion which was a 5 out of 10 because it has petroleum in it. Then I had I found OxyClean, uh, Devin had OxyClean Laundry Stain Remover and it doesn't have a scale of one out of uh, 0 out of 10, has nothing but from the Think Dirty app it is pretty legit and it's Good to go so I would definitely you know look up the ingredients and double check on that one and then the last two products that I have for you guys is a Tresemme travel size shampoo and conditioner that I got for uh, some of my guests that were staying here and I did not realize how toxic like I assumed that it was a little toxic but it is a 10 out of 10 once again the worst products of everything that I have on here and it's shampoo and conditioner guys. This is stuff that you use in your house. It has the DMD Hydanatone fragrance and ammonium chloride in it. It has high levels on all three carcinogen cities, developmental and reproductive toxicities and allergies and immune toxin toxicities. So those are all the products that I did with the Think Dirty app. I hope this was built, brings more awareness to you and that you really decide to start changing your lifestyle and start changing the chemicals and getting rid of the chemicals in your household and going to more natural, non-toxic stuff. Like I said, baking soda, essential oils, lemons, vinegar, borax, all that stuff you can use as cleaners, natural cleaners and just get creative look for DIYs if you guys want me to do a video of like DIY uh, non-toxic products comment down below and I can you know do a video on that but I thought this was a think dirty is very informative and it even brought awareness to me to show me that you know I had toxic products in there too and also I have organic nail polish remover which is toxic as well so I have not been putting nail polish on this whole year since I've been home from Spain I stopped using nail polish and not to say you can't use it like everything in moderation like if you do it one time no big deal doing it all the time it's gonna affect you definitely this was a really cool app and I you know made a pic I pic jointed all the pictures for you guys so that you could see in the future I will make a PDF of everything like all the list of toxic chemicals and I'll write it out for you guys and I'll post it somewhere so that you guys can have the list of toxic chemicals in your products. Please join the challenge and make your house a chemical free living. It's so important. We're coming in contact with so many toxins as it is. You don't want to be bringing in more toxins in your home, in your you know body. You don't want to be inhaling this stuff affecting your lungs, your liver, your kidneys. There's so many things that that it causes in your body. It's so important, especially if you have kids and animals that are inhaling this as well. You know, their lungs are a lot smaller than ours too, and it just is not good for us. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and follow me on all my social media, and I'll see you guys in my next video. 
Namaste. The light in me honors the light in you. Bye, guys.